Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Man Money Shout, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over my top five run defenses uh, in Madden 20. Uh, this is probably one of the hardest things to stop this year is the run, and I think all five defenses I show you today are going to be uh, ones that should solve most of your problems, whether it's inside runs, outside runs, or whatever it may be. So if you want to see more videos like this, as always, do me a favor, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button, and I will make sure to put that out. And other than that, going to, let's get right into the video. Now, the first two plays are going to be out of the 4-3. They're on the screen right now. It's two plays. It's the outside safety blitz and the cover two invert. Now, they're essentially the same setup. You can see the safeties automatically drop and try to take away the outside lane, which is really what uh, makes this defense uh, special to me. Sometimes, uh, if you make a defensive adjustment, the safeties will go back and have to manually move the safety back into place, which is something EA should probably fix. But you can see, if you look at this right here, maybe there's really no outside opportunities uh, to be had. And you can see, um, you know, my opponent here has to bounce it outside. Cornerbacks make the play. Uh, if you really want to kick it up a notch, though, the, the blitz is going to be a little bit better than the invert. Um, if you run the invert, I would say without a doubt, you definitely want to put the uh, outside guys on hard flats to stop the run. But you can see right here, I mean, there's nothing really there. My opponent pretty much has to run 10 yards to the sideline before they have an opportunity to turn up to make this play successful. Now, I do think that if you have time moving these safeties into uh, the uh, QB contains, a good idea. Uh, but if you don't have time, just getting them down there just so they can hold that outside edge is good enough. Because a lot of people, uh, when they see this defense, because it takes a little bit of time to set up, they might start calling their audibles and stuff like that, uh, trying to gain an advantage. Now you can see every time I, I, I pinch or spread my line, you can see how those safeties go back. That's one of the few things uh, that's a little bit of a, of a hassle when it comes to this particular play. Uh, I'll typically want to pinch my defensive line as well, but you can spread uh, if you really expect your opponent to hit a lot of outside runs. Spreading is always an option. So that's two things you can do. But like I said, if you really want to kick it up a notch, you definitely want to go with the, uh, the double safety blitz. So moving on to the next play. That was the only 4-3 play. The rest of these are going to be all in 3-4 defenses. And the Mike Blitz Zero, which a lot of you guys probably know, I've been running pretty much all year since the beginning of the year uh, out of the 3-3-5 wide. Same setup really, I mean, as a lot of the defenses I'm going to show you. I'm going to spread everything. Spread my linebacker, spread my line. And then I typically want to either bring... Uh, uh, the safety down that's over the running back that's manning the running back down into the gap or I could also use the, uh, the, uh, the the middle linebacker there, which can also be a safety, but I typically like to change into a linebacker if I think it's going to be a run defense. Um, I can also step them off like this, and you can see how it basically looks like a 5-2. It's like a 3-3-5 three, three, with speed, but it's got a 5-2 look because uh, I typically will move this middle linebacker, just move him over a little bit. Now, if it's, a, if it's a formation like this, which can really only be an inside zone, a lot of times you can cheat right into this gap, and it'll take away that, that defense entirely. So this here, if it's like a three wide receiver set, I'll typically come out in a three, 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 five, uh, three wide receiver set or more. Uh, and if it's anything less, if it's a two tight end set or a two wide receiver set, I'll typically come out in some of the bigger defenses I'm going to show you. Uh, so here we go. We got a goal line situation essentially. It's a red zone situation. Once again, you can see I move the linebacker, middle linebacker over, and it just gives a five two look. Like I said, it's going to be a really stout run defense, even though you might not expect it. You can see my opponent right here. He thinks he's got an advantage. He's trying to run a hurry up uh, so he can try to uh, to take this take this um, you know take it against his defense. But you can see we got a guy coming off the edge free, which will get quite a bit on a lot of these plays I'm showing you that's kind of the design is edge defenders typically come off free anytime you have a free defender uh, whether it's a quarterback or a running back that they're chasing a lot of times you're going to see how you're going to have a lot of success stopping plays in the backfield based off of the fact that you know they'll just typically fly in and make the play uh, but like I said you want to make sure you definitely have a middle linebacker in this position so the next play is out of the 4-4 split, and it's the cover 2 invert. Uh, this, once again, I already showed a cover 2 invert. Cover 2 inverts are really good plays. I think cover 2s in general are very good run defenses if you hard flat the outside guys. You can see I'm doing right here. All I'm doing, I'm pinching the defensive line, spreading the linebackers. You can see how doing that takes away any inside gaps and outside gaps. That's typically how I'm going to want to run this particular play, and uh, it's going to have a lot of success if I do that. Um, you could also, like sometimes I'll spread, like right here, I have the 4-4 alignment. 
pinched inside, spread linebackers outside. But if I think my opponents are going to run outside, I can always spread to try to get a little bit of an advantage outside. And I also like the QB contain quite a bit to get these defensive ends uh, to hold their outside leverages. But you can see right there, I mean, they, these outside guys, as long as you um, hard flat, they will go flying in quite a bit and they'll make a lot of plays. Uh, the number one play to me that I always use if I need one is the cover one QB contain of the 3-4 bear. I've been on this defense for a couple of months right now. I still think it's the best defense in the game. Once again, very similar setup, spreading everything, spreading the defensive line, spreading the linebackers. And then I typically use the safety instead of the linebacker. I'll typically bring the safety down uh, just to give an extra box defender because this is what I bring out. If I have somebody who's running the ball relentlessly, I will bring this defense out and I will shut it down. So that to me is one of the few occasions where I'll use or a safety that's in a, a deep blue zone, as you can see I'm doing right here. Uh, but there's really, once again, no opportunities. There's nothing uh, here that my opponent can really uh, take advantage of. There's no gaps. Um, there's no outside leverage. There's just nothing for the, my opponent to uh, to come out with. And you can see, you could also, if you really want to kick it up a notch, if you press any of these defenses, that will help uh, with the uh, the outside. I mean, you get in trouble if they switch over to a pass. you got to be careful with that. But if you if you press these uh, cornerbacks, they'll, they'll play the run a little bit better. Uh, same thing with the cover twos. If you press, um, they'll, they'll play down a little bit better and uh, they'll be a little bit more successful. But you can see my opponent here. He's against the goal line. He's he's furiously trying to run to get out of it. Uh, he's once again running a hurry up. A lot of people think they have advantages that they really don't have. Maybe it's because they see these defenses that they've never seen against the run, and that's why they think that they have they can have success, but it never really works out. Here in the next play, once again, you can see edge defender coming off free. It's going to be big. It happens a lot on uh, on uh, the top you know two or three of these defenses you'll get a lot of edge defenders flying off the edge and then on the next play sometimes i'll usually this guy here i'll motion him out just a little bit um just to make sure he has that edge so nobody gets outside of him just helps out just enough you're going to see on this very next play uh and then as far as you know if you're going to pinch if you're going to spread this defense all you have to really do is uh d-pad left and up d-pad right and up that's going to be how you spread your defense and spread your linebackers and then you can see right here i mean this guy here he, he didn't even want to go into that so we're going to go over and end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor let me know in the comment section or hit the like button and i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below